Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at the water mod once again, but I thought I'll try and answer some of the questions raised in the previous video. So what we're going to do with is start off with these two, because they can be lumped together. So I was asked, how do you make oxygen and hydrogen with water? And so how do you get ice for this mod? Or do they have a pump to suck in water? Well, with this mod, nothing actually gets changed with the planet. You are simply overlaying a texture inside the planet that clips through at the lowest point, which allows you to have fake water. So if I was to bring the free camera underneath the ground, you would be able to see the core of the planet, which is simply the sky and cloud textures. If I was to press enter and slash w create, we will see, if I can spell properly, we will see that the core will get filled up with water, and this will then clip through at the lowest point of the planet. We can see here that it's not quite clipping through where I'm standing, because the ground is just that little bit higher, but if we were to zoom all the way out and find a low point, we'll be able to find the water, thus nothing has been replaced. But there is something odd with the water. If I was to slap on a cargo container onto this ship, like so, then put a collector on the front of it, it will start to suck in ice. I'm not too sure whether this is a bug or a feature, but it will just draw in water and turn it into ice and drop it into any connected cargo containers. If there is ice under the water, you can still access it by building, say, a submarine with drills or a drilling platform much like an oil rig to go and drop down a really long piston in order to reach it. Let's just come underwater here. We can't really see anything. In fact, I've now lost myself under here, so let's come back to the surface. But that is how that is done, and leads us quite nicely into the next one, where it says, what happens if you modify the voxels around it? Does it fill the space? If you make a pit close to the water, but not directly connected to make a lake, is it clear water? I know this is some of the problems that kept Keen from adding water. Well, technically, it does work like that. It's not volumetric water, as in if you were to, say, drop a load of stuff inside this body of water, it will not raise up and spill over. But because it's basically a spherical texture inside the planet that pokes through, you can, in fact, use the voxel tools to then craft yourself a river and make little puddles of water. So finding the voxel hands, let's go for a nice sphere. So as I was saying before the game rudely interrupted me by crashing, it turns out that you can't use the voxel hands with the mod currently. The game just goes nope and crashes to desktop, leaving you a small error message. But as I was saying, if you were close to a body of water or perhaps anywhere in the world, you could use drills, you could use voxel hands and just dig all the way down, removing the ground until you hit the water and the water would just clip through, making it seem like you filled up a hole. But unfortunately, it will not go any higher than the set radius of the water. So the water should have spawned in by now. There it all is. And we can see the hole going all the way down. If I kept going down with a voxel hand, I'll eventually hit the water. But we can't make the water go up in certain places. But we can increase the radius of the water. And I have accidentally <laughs> submerged the entire planet by using the slash w radius command. The Earth-like planet is unfortunately no more. It is simply water, water everywhere. But you can use the radius command to bring up the water a little bit if it's not to the height you want to try and build a, say, moat around your base or build a artificial river. But you can do that, but it's not volumetric, so it won't just spill over and fill up little gaps. For the next question, got to wonder how bullets work in it. So let's find out, shall we? So my character is right here and we're going to spawn in a, ooh, let's just spawn in a steel block. So a nice steel block here. Like that, nice bit of wall. And we're going to attach some lights onto it as well as a battery. So there's a light. Let's find ourselves a battery. And we're going to flood the planet like I did accidentally before. I didn't realize how much you could actually expand that. Which makes me wonder if you can expand it to the entire universe. Be a bit silly. I might try that in another video. It's a, a little bit dodgy, but... Well, I'll try it for science. But anyway, that has now been sorted out. We've got some lights on this. And we're going to bring up the radius to, let's say, 2.0. So there we go. We are now under the water. I say whopping 57,000 meters below the surface. And we have our gun. 
the gun behaves normally like we're not in water whatsoever. So there is no effects on that, there is no drag on the bullets, they just behave normally. And to get a good gander here, let's just see what kind of horrible things we've done to this planet. Wow, we are, we're almost at the moon. In fact, let's do it right now, shall we? Let's go to the radius and set you to five. Let's see how badly this will do. Oh God, look at that. Wow, we've completely absorbed the moon into the water. That is quite weird. Anyway, let's go back to 1.02, which is the default. There we go. And yeah, the bullets still behave the exact same. This next one isn't a question, but I'll cover it anyway because it is quite useful to know. Ethan says, I tried to use this on a custom planet, but the world became water world. So yes, as I was showing in the game, you will need to fiddle around with the radius settings. So if I just come and shift F10 this and hopefully don't disable Nvidia Shadow Play, come over to a planet and let's say spawn in the moon. Let's say we want to have a quite a large moon shall we say let's have a gigantic moon let's just go and generate the seed and spawn this in over to here so now we've got one gigantic moon that's going to dwarf all the plants around me let's just bring my character over and now we're here so I've just spawned in water and coming all the way down to here this is the body of water inside the moon it's very tiny not reaching the surface so what I can do is just play around with the slash w radius command and let's say go to 1.02 and we now got a bit of water showing up there but it's not too good is it i'm not too happy without water so we can just increase it maybe to 1.07 uh oh what did i do oh jesus i think i just covered up the surface bit too much so let's just come over to 1.04 and that should be a little bit better no it's not we need to come a little bit lower to 1.03 that should be a bit better, yes it is. We've now got a nice lot of water everywhere, just covering up a lot of the lower points, but there's still plenty of land to build on. That is what you would do with a custom planet. You just fiddle around with the radius until it sort of solved everything up. This next one is from Professor Manic 5 who says, I think it would be cool if this mod came with propellers for underwater, and if any other thrusters go underwater, they become waterlogged. Well, unfortunately, the second part of that can't happen at this current point in time. I'm not actually sure if it could be possible to do, but propellers we can do thanks to the workshop. So in the workshop, we've got a Skyblade helicopter and plane propeller mod pack, which can function as atmospheric thrusters. And oh God, what have I done to that moon? It looks like a Death Star with a cloaking device on it. Wow, okay. That looks quite good, actually. Might keep it there. Yes, if I find a body of water on the Earth-like planet once again. Okay, so I've spawned in the Aurora. What we're going to do is disable the thrusters and replace it with some propellers. So if I come over to here and oh god that launched out. What is going on there? And as it turns out, water is really, really bouncy. Wow. Okay, so that's going to come down and hopefully not crash into the side there. Let's see what happens here. I was not expecting that. That should not have happened. Uh, slash radius, uh, 1.03, let's just raise up that water a bit and hopefully this will be protected. So we're coming all the way over to here. How's it doing? It doesn't seem to be doing too well at this depth. It seems to be breaking apart. But it is very slowly getting back to the surface. Might need to drop it down a little bit. Let's go to 1.025. And yes, it turns out that the water is exceptionally bouncy. So let's just go and spawn in a new one like so. There we go. We've now got a nice load of hydrogen tanks there. And that is still bouncing around. I have no idea what has happened to that. The physics in this game is just amazing. But we can get our propeller from the mod pack and we can say, maybe make a little bridge coming across like so. Boom, shouldn't really affect it. We should have enough buoyancy with those. And we could drop down, say, two propellers. Let's go for a propeller there, propeller there. Let's go and shove a battery over here and here to make that nice and balanced. Then a cockpit on top so we can drive it. So let's go like that. That'll do. We can now get into the cockpit. We can find our propellers. So there's number one. We want to then increase thrust. Increase thrust. And away we go. We should be able to move forwards a little bit. Our speed is going up. 
So there we go. We can use propellers to move ourselves along and try not to get hit by some scary flying bouncing boat going up and down. So that is pretty much what I wanted to do with this video. I hope this has been helpful. So once again, the water does not replace anything on the planet. So all the patches of ice and all that around here will not disappear. They'll simply be either under the water where you'll need a mining submarine or they'll be above the water and it'll just be normal. You can't harvest the water, so you can't put in any kind of mod of things yet. Someone might make a mod eventually, but currently you can't do anything. And yes, with modded plants, you'll need to fiddle around with the radius. And with the propellers, you can just download it and they'll work perfectly. As for this poor thing up here, I'm not too sure what is going on, but he looks like he's having a lot of fun. So yes, a link to all the mods I've talked about in this video will be in the description below, as well as to the animal mod and the skybox I've been using recently. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.